and so Prince William of Wales is getting married April 29, 2011. This is 66 years to the date after Adolf Hitler's wedding to Eva Brown. Now here's wisdom, let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, his number is 666. Now what we see is that 4 plus 2 plus 9 plus 2 equals 17, and 17 minus 11 equals 6. And as I said, the 66 years after Adolf Hitler's wedding to Eva Brown, and there you go, there are 666 marking the Prince of Darkness, the Abomination of Desolation. And what we'll see about Adolf is that he died at 56, uh, only a few hours after his wedding actually, and 5 plus 6 equals 11, and Eva Brown at 33, and 33 is the highest Freemason level, and of course 3 times 11 equals 33. So, here he is, the lion's head, leopard's body, and bear's feet, which is the royal coat of arms for Prince William of Wales, the third and final Antichrist, about to assume power as king and try and kill about three and a half billion people simply because they lack knowledge. What is so special about April 29th is that it is the 119th day of the year, and 1 plus 1 plus 9 equals 11. Now backwards, that is 9-11, and of course, that is the 254th day of the year, and 2 plus 5 plus 4 equals 11. Now Prince William has knowledge of this, of course, and this goes back to the days of the pharaohs. And uh, Seti, uh, one of the pharaohs, ruled for 11 years, and they, of course, built the pyramids there of Giza on 13 acres, and just as that, the World Trade Center complex sat on 13 city blocks. And that is what it was modeled after. Uh, built for the ritual that was to be, formed, be performed by uh, George W. Bush on uh, September 11th. And what we see that uh, April 29th means there's 246 days left in the year and uh, 24 minus 6 equals 18 and 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. And that marks Satan, the abomination of desolation, uh, Prince William of Wales, and he is well, well inclined and and uh, versed in this knowledge and of course he will use it to his advantage and to lead millions and billions of people to death for they lack knowledge. So many Americans think the BP Gulf Order explosion was an accident but the truth is it was a ritual, intentional and I will prove to you that your media lies to you. It's owned by the Freemasons and they simply just cover up these rituals. Now we know this April 20th, 2010, there are 11 days left in April. And of course at 11 p.m. by remote, there was an explosion on one of the oil rigs in the Gulf. And there were 11 dead. Now April 20th is the 111th day of the year. And you will always see satanic rituals by the Freemasons involving human sacrifice. And April 19th, of course, with Waco and Oklahoma City and such, you see, that is the 110th day. Again, you see the 11. Now this means there are 254 days left in the year, and 2 plus 5 plus 4 equals 11, and of course 9-11 is the 254th day of the year. And understanding that how these two days correlate, and so we have the January 24th, 2011 Russian airport bombing, a so-called terrorist attack, but of course, it adds up to 11. It has the mark of the Freemasons, 1 plus 24 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 equals 29, and 2 plus 9 equals 11. So again, this is the Freemasons promoting their security in exchange for liberty campaign. Notice how these attacks always revolve around air travel and your airports. Because this is the front line of the pagan elite to take away all of your liberty in the name of security. And this is where they start the airports and then they work through your society. If, of course, you uh, condone their behavior.